How has your kid changed your body? I have stretch marks on my belly. I nursed around the clock. The boobs were not mine. I stopped feeling sexual about my boobs so long ago. My body's not mine. Hello? Hello. I'm Nicole. I am 27 years old. My name is Jackie. I've recently become a mother. I had a baby 10 months ago. I have an eight year old son and an almost five year old daughter. Whew. Good times. Good times. <laughs> what are you doing here today? I am going to be doing some nude uh, modeling for self and for y'all. Why did you sign up for this? The pregnancy, weight gain, and all of that was kind of a hit to my already not great body image. It can't make me feel worse about myself, so hopefully we can go up from here. I think it's kind of a service to my body to do something like this and honor it in this way, even though it sounds corny. I don't think it sounds corny. Go ahead and step behind the screen, hop into your robe. When did your body become important to you? Well, I have distinct memories of when I was younger and people drawing attention to it. So that's when it kind of um, became important. It feels like I didn't really have a choice <laughs> in the matter. Mm -hmm. well, can you tell me about one of those moments? I remember third grade, out of the blue, this girl who was at the time a little more popular, she said, you have a huge butt. And then brought everybody's attention to it in the, in the classroom and all the girls laughed. I kind of got teased, you know, for being flat chested and um, I had anorexia in high school and then it kind of morphed into bulimia when I fell in with a wrong crowd that kind of was encouraging my behavior instead of trying to help me. I grew up in a really conservative family, very religious. I remember being told I was too vain for staring in the mirror because I wanted to wash my face. Someone in my life hid cameras in my shower starting when I was 14. There was the claim by the individual who did it that they were checking on my chastity to make sure that I was being a good Christian and staying pure. I was later told by police detectives that some of the videos had been sold online. Felt like there were parts of me I couldn't control. I didn't feel right. I didn't feel settled. I, it, was, it was a very, very difficult time. When do you think you first owned your body? First time I felt like I owned my body was after I was assaulted in college. I went on a bit of a for me, it was a sexual bender. I think it was two people. Um, <laughs> so I kind of felt like I took that choice back um, that was taken from me. Will you tell me about the first time your body felt powerful? In giving birth, actually, I think that was the most powerful I probably ever felt. Like, it felt like climbing Mount Everest. It was something I never thought I would be capable of after being told that I was pretty infertile. After six years and multiple miscarriages, I finally did become a mother. What's one thing people who haven't given birth would be surprised to know about the process? I felt lied to. I had a really rough pregnancy. I read this and it was like, you're made for this. This is something, you know, all women should be able to do if you want. Everyone told me that like, you're gonna do great. And as soon as I went into labor, I did not feel like a goddess. I didn't feel like a princess. My son's head apparently wouldn't have fit. So he was born via C-section. I felt like my body was fighting me. I just felt like I was dying. Did you feel any need to get back to like your pre-pregnancy body? Oh my, immediately. And I just think society is like, look at all these people that got back to their, their pre-pregnancy weight or even less. So with my first one I did, partly because I was single, I felt a pressure to be attractive in a non-mommy way to attract a partner. <laughs> I gained 45, 50 pounds. Body has looser skin. Um, my whole tummy area is a little rough. 
And now I have all these stretch marks at the very top that go all the way around, which I didn't expect. I'm working on trying to love that. <laughs> The one thing I said in my second pregnancy to their dad, you don't understand because you're not dealing with losing your body. And it wasn't about being chubby or feeling, you know, bad about my body. It was just, my body's not mine. The boobs were not mine. I stopped feeling sexual about my boobs so long ago. How did your relationship to sex change post giving birth? Actually, our sex drive has gone up. Loved sex just as much as before, and if not more. I tore when I gave birth. And so I had to be stitched. And so we tried and I just, I was horrified my body. I, I was crying, it hurt so bad. My husband felt horrible. We were already struggling to take care of a newborn and then a way that we can connect kind of felt taken from us. My body did something amazing. No matter how bad I feel about myself, there's no denying that. I kind of love my C-section scar, but it's kind of like a wedding ring, you know, it's a symbol. I really got to become a mother after everything. I would say that having a child gave me more ownership of my body and not a lot of what happened to my body in the past was my choice. Um, and so I chose to be pregnant, I chose to give birth, and I chose to breastfeed. <laughs> Love it. All right, show us your pain. <laughs> I really wanted to put my C-section scar because that's going to be a big part of my identity going forward. I kind of try to include the parts that I like about myself, my green eyes and, and my tattoos, because um, they're things that I chose to do as like ways to own my body back. I try to include the important parts, my little belly ledge that I try not to be upset about, and then my vagina haircut that I'm proud of because I wasn't always com comfortable having pubes. And how was this experience? The things I talked about, I don't say them to myself every day at all. So it was a really good fucking reminder.